something new has been discovered. Astronomers are warning of a colossal galaxy explosion and is heading towards our Earth. And humanity could be witnessing a mass explosion at the center of our galaxy from a bubble-blowing, supermassive black hole. Wesley Hudson of Express UK reports. This is a picture by James Yosifidis in 3D. Early humans may have witnessed such an explosion about three and a half million years ago, and it could happen again very soon, according to researchers. The astronomers call it cosmic gas orbs, the Fermi bubbles. And even though they're a few million years old, there is a mystery as to how these bubbles first formed. The scientists from the University of Sydney reconstructed a plausible explanation how these bubbles formed, how they were created, putting it down in a gigantic explosion. The Fermi bubbles created by an epic flare, a flare of hot nuclear energy shooting out of the galaxy's poles roughly three and a half million years ago. The beam from the explosion shot into space for hundreds of thousands of light years. The lead study author Josh Bland Hawthorne told Live Science the effect would have shone out of the galaxy's center for 300,000 years. Mr. Bland Hawthorne also noted that the similar explosion or flare could have occurred 10 million years ago and could well be heading towards our Earth now. Now he said that it's plausible that one explosion took place 10 million years ago and the jet is now traveling into our direction and arriving at us. He was speaking concerning the flare, the director of the Sydney Institute of Astronomy and his team calculated the blast may have been visible to early humans as well. He said, it's an amazing thought that when cave people walked the earth, if they'd looked off in the direction of the, of the galactic center, of course they didn't have electricity at that time, so of course the starry nights would have been very uh, light, uh, very, very visible to them. Now they've, they'd have seen some kind of giant ball of heated gas. And the researchers looked to the Hubble t Space Telescope of the Magellanic Stream to date this explosion. The stream is 600,000 light years wide, arc of gas trailing behind two dwarf galaxies orbiting our Milky Way galaxy. Two dwarf galaxies orbiting around our Milky Way. From the Earth, the Magellanic Stream spreads across half of the night sky, surging through space some 200,000 light years away, and is still close enough for neighboring galaxies to feel the heat of particularly violent eruptions from our galaxy's central black hole. This according to the researchers. And uh, as most of the hydrogen gas making up the Magellanic Stream is very cold, they say, the recent Hubble observations reveal at least three large regions where the gas is unusually very hot. Those regions align with the north and south poles of the Milky Way Galactic Center. And according to Mr. Bland Hawthorne, it's a clear sign that those hot spots, those regions, were toasted by an enormous flare-up of charged particles that beam out of our galaxy, of course, into space. He said this can only be done radiatively from the monster at the galaxy's nucleus. He also said he and his colleagues showed such an explosion of energy known as the Seyfert Flare, S-E-Y-F-E-R-T, could blast out of the center, reaching all the way to the hottest regions of the Magellanic Stream. The team calculated the explosion, and they say it should have been between two and a half and four and a half billion years ago. It's a time when humanity, early ancestors, were already walking our planet, and while early humans may have seen this mysterious, mysterious flare above them, Mr. Bland Hawthorne believes it's unlikely they were impacted by its energy due to the Earth's protective atmosphere at that time, which was much deep, much more uh, intense, and allowed how it was good news for humanity to, as research suggests, more safe flirt, flares could be on their way to us. 
He said that the, these flares can get trapped in the immediate vicinity of the black holes that made them for millions of years. And he also explained, but I think the most powerful burst from our sun would be about the same power. So bad for satellites and spacewalkers, but our atmosphere protects life pretty well, he said. Thank goodness. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.